Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to do an alteration to this gown. We are letting out the waist. So if you wanna know how to do it, let's go. So this is the dress that we are going to let out the waist. Uh, the dress now has a waist of 30 inches she needs around 33 inches and uh, this is a real challenge as there is not enough material what i'm going to do i'm opening the seams to carefully analyze the situation anyways i have a solution that i already discussed with the customer uh, which is pronounced deeper this line going down with the zipper and that will give me what i need but anyways i want to see if i have a better solution that's what I'm going to open. I see that here I can get for her 5 8 of the inch, like let's say half an inch, and then I can get half an inch at the other side that give me 1 inch. So I have to open the zipper here to do that. This is my new line for the dress. See, if I go like that, then I can have more material there and um, it will be okay for her. As the dress will just zip up until here, I will remove that zipper and put it back. The dress will zip up until here and then it will be all okay for her. So conclusion, I will let out the side to have more material so when I fold it here, I don't need to fold it so much. I can fold it just until there and she will be completely fine. So for letting out the sides, I have to remove this ribbon and as well, I have to open the whole waist. I have to open more or less until here so I can remove a little bit of gathering, a little bit of gathering and it will be okay. So let me show you the design of the dress so you can understand what I mean. This is the bust area and I have to let out here. So that's why I have to open. You will start opening the lining. So I open the lining already until the sides, which is what I will open. I will go a little bit more. And then I will open the whole waistband. And open that is very tricky. Okay, you have to be careful because this material breaks very easy. Now I'm working at the other side, opening first the lining and then I will open the waist. Lining is open, now I will open the waist. I will open first the ribbon and then open the waist. Second side of the waist is open. Now we will open the case for the bones and you see after we let out at the side, I won't have enough material to make a case. So I will have to make like a pouch, add material and make a pouch. When you open, you can go like that as I was doing, but you can do it as well with a knife like that. Every two or three stitches, you just break one and then after you pull. Now I can comfortably work in my side, open this, the other side and let's go to work. What I'm going to do now, I will mark how much I will let out at the sides. So I'll put it here and then I will take my ruler and then I will go like that. And uh, if you see, it's not really that much apparently, but when you take one quarter inch here and one quarter inch here is half an inch and then at the other side of the waist is a whole inch that I will gain. So it's worth it. I will mark all my four seams, the sides, the lining and the other side and the other lining. Now I will choose my thread, probably this one. Now we are going to sew. And 
then we are going to open this seam and then put it flat like that. If you see, I'm just letting out the waist. As I said before, I need more material to create the pocket for the bones. When I let out the dress in the sides at the lining, I lost material enough to put my bones back. So what I'm doing, I will just put a capsule on top and then insert the bones. Repeat at the other side. I'm closing the side with the skirt. Remember that we had to loosen up some pleats of the skirt so we can have enough material. Now I will see what I'm gonna do. The customer asked me to be able to reverse that job. When she bought that dress, it was perfect on her, but because of the quarantine, she gained a little bit of weight. I said, no, I'm sorry, I cannot make it reversible, but now I'm thinking that I can. I just need to fold it here and leave all this material inside and after when she lose weight again she can let out again to her dress so for that i will sew the zipper until here this is my mark where the zipper will go and then instead of cutting instead of removing and put it the other way i will just fold it there and then the dress will be like that and it will be reversible the job oh that's fantastic this is what she wanted so let me mark and i will mark both sides what i have to do so this is my mark and here too this is where she needed first i pin there but because i let out the waist i can probably go a little bit higher so i will go like that and then i'll do the same at the other side i will just fold it in like that and do the same on the other side. The importance to have this line straight is that it won't gap in her body. I will remove the whole zipper and then I will sew it back a little bit lower but I won't cut it so when she reverses the job she can just sew the zipper back up. Clean the thread and we will change. This is the original line of the zipper. So we will change this line here until like that. And then, not just that, we will put the zipper just until here. So when we fold, we can fold completely like that. I will iron and I will change this line too. Okay, before I place the zipper back, I will measure my waist again. Remember that I need 33 inches. So let's see how it will work now. Yeah, that's perfect. I need a little bit more. So I will go a little bit down. I'll go here. I wanted to go here, would have been fantastic, but we have to be sure that the measurement <laughs> is complete otherwise the job is not a good job so let's go from there and then from there yes from there we have our measurement so this is where my zipper will finish at this point there okay so and now i will place the zipper cleaning the little thread So I reinforce the material a little bit because this material is too delicate. 
and uh, because he was a sea person before. When he's on, it, there is micro holes that, and uh, because we are opening and moving the zipper, so if, if we put the zipper in the same place, then it's, it's not a big deal, but because we are moving it, th there is some risk that one of those little holes opens with the time. Not right now, you cannot see anything, but with the time, it, it might happen. So just to avoid that, you reinforce the material and you will be Okay, so I'm placing the zipper. Before closing it all the way back, we are going to place the cups. So for that we have to find the point of the breast and the point of the cup and put it together. It seems pretty much like it. So I will pin this one. I will put the other one and I'll see if both together looks good and then I will sew it. When I'm pinning, I'm trying to be careful. I try to pin there rather than there because if I pin there, the mesh can break. Now it looks pretty good and I will go in to see if they are symmetrical and if not, I will correct it. Then I'll close it. Very often you put the cup in the lining, but this lining is very weak. So if you do that, it doesn't have a structure because of this kind of dress, usually the lining has a lot of a structure. You know, it has the bones and everything. So you put your cuff in the lining so you can do more stitches here. Now I will close the dress, but before that, I will place the bones. And I will start closing the dress. I will put it here like that, and then I'll go from inside like that. It's a little tricky. And the last part, we will sew it by hand. 